kick your ass. Sometimes a customer's offenses are so egregious well, you don't me for one minute. that it's necessary to address them right there, right now. Oh, you're so freaking full. Tell it to somebody that can't. You're not wanted here. All these kids will back me up, right, guys? Yeah. You're not wanted here. According to the person filming, the man in the booth has been insulting other diners and even the server herself on numerous occasions. You want to serve me two weeks ago? Who the hell was in there right now? You want to serve me two weeks ago? Did you take a look in the mirror? Look at yourself. Did you take a look in the mirror? Though the customer claims he's been the victim, the server claims she's witnessed his bad behavior before, and she's had enough. Prove it to me. If you prove it to me, I will wait on you. I'll even buy you your dinner. You prove it to me. You prove to me that I'll buy you anything you want. I'll give you 50 bucks if you prove it to me. Prove it to me. Because you can't, because you're lying to me. Nobody wants to wait on you. We're asking you nicely. We'll be very nice because you clean your leave. That's it. You got a cup of coffee out of us. What more do you want? That's it. You're not going to call me a bitch. You're not going to sit down my boss's wife. You're not going to call people a lesbian. So, hey, yeah, yeah, Much to everyone's delight, the man does eventually leave, making the diner finally rude customer free. At least until the next one comes in. Oh, you're so freaking full of Tell it to somebody that can. You're not wanted here. Video? I'm going to take a video. If you're, yeah. gonna, if you're going to verbally harass me, then I'm hey, going to take a video. but you were rude, and then I told you we're here to get food for my kids, and you're like, oh, you can, their kids can wait. There there was a, an entire spot. No, I'm sorry, no. Y'all weren't pulled up to yeah, the Yeah, we were in here, yes. Then, as God then as my witness. Then I wouldn't have really, room. You think it's funny? You think it's funny? This woman is accusing the man in the car of deliberately cutting in front of her at an Arkansas drive-thru. I wouldn't have room to pull in front of you. Because you are being rude. That doesn't make sense. Being rude doesn't make sense? I wouldn't have had space Being rude in. doesn't make sense? No. Being rude doesn't make sense? But apparently, it's all starting to make sense to the woman. Are you from Van Buren? I'm from Greenwood. <laughs> That's why. Okay. I'm born and raised in Van Buren. Maybe you should go to order in Greenwood. Okay. Okay. Have you ordered your food? Uh, I was waiting for him to get back to me. Oh, um, well, you know what? They're not going to get back to you. OK. Yeah. The woman utters a homophobic slur. OK. Yeah. But despite her nasty prediction. I'm so sorry about that. So you had an order for Alex? Yes, I had an order for Alex. The dutiful drive through employee does in fact calmly take care of the man filming. So if you can come whenever you can, we'll get that order for you. Awesome, thank you. So remember, if you're already in line, stay in line. And whatever you do, don't get out of line. Okay. At a pizzeria in Pennsylvania, an employee records a customer who is demanding a refund. You're out of business. But her issue seems to have less to do with the food, and according to a witness, more to do with the language she is hearing throughout the restaurant. You want to tell me Spanish on your TV? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Because you're not American, dude. I will look you the up and get you the out of our town, okay? Give me my money back. At the register is Omar Quinones, who has owned the restaurant for a decade and has never experienced anything like this. We never had a problem with the customers before. Sometimes we put music uh, in some different languages, Spanish or Italian music, and I never had a problem with nobody. I was not expecting that cancel the order just because that TV that was in Spanish. I'm not giving my money to some illegal immigrant. Well, then you got Spanish on your TV. Americans, dude. My father was a World War II veteran, okay? He, his friends and family died. So you're going to sit here right now and make money. And you're going to do this kind of Omar is willing to honor her refund request, but her offensive rant continues. This is what you are. You're ignorant. Ignorant. 
And her vitriol isn't limited to Omar. And she's videotaping me. Yeah, because yeah, you're, you're a racist. You're a no, racist. Yeah, no, she won't. You're a victim. You're a racist. You're a victim. I'm not a victim. You're a no, victim. I'm no, I'm an American. No, you're, you're a racist. A After a bit more back and forth with the staff, the customer switches tactics. I'm going to film you right now. And I got 4,000 followers. This is our first Karen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and tries to put the restaurant on blast. I am being videotaped because I am white, and they want to call me racist. I am simply asking for a refund because their food, their food is terrible. You said that you want a refund no, because you played refund Spanish on, on a TV. Card. I want oh. a refund on my credit card, and they are calling me racist because I Because I the customer shows no signs of backing down. I'm waiting. I got my card right here. All right, here right now. Right here. Until finally, an officer arrives. What's going on, man? According to Omar, the officer brings the customer outside of the restaurant and provides her with the cash refund. But she is later arrested and charged with ethnic intimidation and harassment. It's uh, frustrating that that's uh, the way that she was acting. That you think that how many how many more people there are like that? Hey, I've been in the restaurant for five years. Guess what? You're out of business. But there is a bright spot to this very ugly encounter. Word about the incident spreads, and business booms as a show of support for Omar, his family, and their pizzeria. I will look you up and get you we have a lot of support from the customers and a lot of phone calls showing the support and everything, saying that not everybody is like her. So that was really nice, and that makes the difference. In Red Bank, South Carolina. Sir, shut me up. Why don't you shut me up? According to the person filming, this woman has been berating the staff at this fast food restaurant for being too slow. And a fellow customer has had enough. I'm so tired of, of ignorant people like you coming in here talking bad about the workers. And he now has some choice words of his own. Who wants to sit here and, and listen to some bitch come in here and talk to her? Let that man work. That man ain't causing you no problems. He's doing the best he can. You probably like it. You, it doesn't matter what I like. I can tell you don't like it. I know. Well, too bad. Go someplace else. I'm not talking to you, sir. Well, then shut the up. I just you said that. Me? I said shut the up. Would you want me to call the I don't care who you call. I could care less. Now, with her threat failing to quell the situation. Excuse me. Can you call the police? You call. Yes, you can. You call. You see their business. Things suddenly get ugly. Yet. I don't want food. You don't need the food, I know that much. The man's insult earns him a backhand to the face, causing him to retaliate with a flurry of fists before the camera suddenly cuts off. The fight is eventually broken up, and according to the man filming, the woman is given a refund and leaves without calling the police. You call. A good reminder that if you don't have anything nice to say. I'm so tired of, of, of ignorant people like you coming in here talking bad about the workers. To a worker or another customer. I don't need the food, I know that much. Keep it to yourself. Oh, no. oh. These potato chips, everybody. She just took it. Oh. She just ate I these, licked your fingers, and put it on food. I want all y'all to know that. You want to do it on live? We is that And this girl over here took and dug into a Cheeto bag, licked her fingers, and then grabbed the customer's food. Customer's food. We don't want that nasty We don't know she's been We don't know what the hell she's been doing. Nasty bitch. Employees direct the woman, whose complaints are unproven, to the door. 
but she doesn't go quietly. Oh! Instead, she appears to spit on the manager. Oh! And storms off. But her fit of rage is far from over. Oh! for a second time. But moments later, comes back again. Apparently, for something she left behind. And that's when things start to get even more physical. Oh. But after a final few swings, she heads for the door, for good this time. About two hours later, the 33-year-old woman is found and arrested. She is charged with battery, criminal mischief, and disorderly conduct. She is also banned from the restaurant. Oh! In Charlotte, North Carolina, the man at this drive through window has a problem with his order. I need my money back and I want it fast. A big problem. The double hamburger. Is there, is there cheese in hamburger? There's no cheese in hamburger. When you have a cheeseburger, you have a cheeseburger. If you have hamburger, you have hamburger. But the presence of cheese is not the only problem with his order. There's not even bacon on this, and not onion on this, and not anything that I asked for. This is sucked in confidence. I cannot believe it. it happens every time I come here. I want my money back. But the enraged customer's biggest beef? I'm losing my <laughs> because this happened the past three times I've come. Please be confident once in your life. Once. Take an order and fill it. And to top it off, when he finally receives his refund, I paid more than this. I want 10 bucks. You sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. Someone please give this poor man a hamburger. The double hamburger. That's hamburger. Hold the cheese. There's no cheese in hamburger. If a customer is dissatisfied with the food in a restaurant, they have every right to complain to the staff. But it's important to remember to keep the conversation civil and constructive. Not just for the employee's sake, but also for the other diners. Who may simply want to enjoy their meals in peace. At a restaurant in Tennessee, this woman is demanding to pay her check, even though, according to a witness, she complained that her food was served cold. We got a Karen. Don't try to pass that food up. Ever. <laughs> Settle my tab out for that horrible food that you just tried to serve me. Oh my gosh. But as the situation continues and the person she appears to be with collects their things, some of the other diners begin to lose their patience with the woman's behavior. Just go and stop teaching my children words, please. I have children right here. But despite the growing animosity. Yeah, right here, Karen. And the pleas of the person she appears to be dining with. Get out. She seems determined to leave on her terms. Pay my bill. Okay. Pay my bill. 
after the employee appears to run her card. The woman starts a long, slow walk to the exit. Which is much too slow. Go on, Karen. For one diner. What did you say? What did you say? Oh my gosh. The woman appears to swat at the man in blue. Oh my gosh. It's on video. <laughs> After a few more loud demands from both sides. Get out, Karen. Go, Karen. You just tried to put this on me. You can't show me. So See you, Karen. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. She finally leaves. Much to the remaining diners. <laughs> delight. Lesson learned. Better to accept the apology and simply leave. Okay, okay. Set up my tab out now rather than cause a scene, and then leave. Oh my God.